Right then, um, I'm gonna do a bit of a video. I'm new to this YouTube uh, job. Uh, I thought I'd do a video. I've had a quick look through. Can't really find much on the engine work um, on these. I've got a Discovery Discovery 3 55 reg TDV6. Um, I can't really find much uh, videos of it sort of engine work. So. Um, Thought I'd give it a go. I'll tell you what's going on with this one. Uh, it's, I bought it with a knock, um, which I thought it might be big end. So it's quite a big, a common issue, uh, big end or main bearings. So um, what I did is uh, I got it back, took the, took the front diff out, took some puff. Uh, it was a bit tricky. I did it all on the floor. On my drive, uh, I bought some new shells. Well, actually, first of all, I, I took it all apart. Uh, managed to get sump off, two-stage sump. Um, had a look inside. wasn't really anything obvious. Uh, so anyway, I pulled all the main caps off. Uh, one of them looked a little bit bad, but nothing, nothing that I was expecting. You know, nothing like I was expecting to see. Uh, so this... That's actually one of the worst. So obviously he's taken off top coating. Oh, and that, that one. These are two main... Main shells. Is that blurry? There we go. Obviously, so you can see it's got a bit of a hot spot on it. And the... Uh, white metal's gone uh, and then a, a big end I did the big ends whilst I was there ah uh, this is not there we go see that one looks why does that look so bad on there yeah it looks worse on there than it is but anyway so uh, so yeah I managed to do that without taking the crank out and all that jazz but I didn't even take the cam belt off I mean it was a it was a bit of a rookie way of doing it but you know it works <laughs> uh, so what I did is took all the caps off um, I got a nice thin uh, thin piece of metal similar to a, a shell and just push the push the top ones around the top of the uh, top of the crank uh, journal and then I slid the new ones back in I know some of you would be like oh my god you've got to be micing it up and all that sort of stuff but anyway it wasn't that bad uh, obviously I ran my fingernail over the crank make sure there's no uh, no gouges or anything it seemed alright so just went for it I can't believe how much the shells cost for these things anyway um, so but after I did all that the, this is exactly the same noise still there so don't know hasn't got any better hasn't got any worse it is oil pressure related because if I leave it for a long time um, the few seconds when you start it up before the oil pressure reaches it's a little bit noisier than when the oil pressure is fully up so uh, I'm sort of led towards uh, Maybe it's like a cam follower, a tap it sort of thing. I don't know. But it's not got any worse. I've been driving it about. Bottom end's good now anyway. So it can only be the top end or... Anyway, I, I'll tell you what, I'll give you... I'll start it up, see what you think. Here, a slight, and a slight knock coming from this side, which is the off. Well, that's the driver's side, but um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I don't, can you hear that? I don't think you can. I'll tell you what, I'll give it a little bit of a rev. It's pretty slight, but I wanted to catch it before. 
it got really bad. Right, I don't know if you can hear it on there, but I can hear it. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to catch the, uh, I wanted to catch the fault, well the knock before it got anything major. That's why I went straight into the bottom end and changed those out. Um, so since then, uh, we actually were going to go on holiday in it, and then the head gasket decided to go. I don't know if that's a common thing, but anyway, so we got a lot of pressure. Eyes, there's a lot of pressure in the water system as soon as you start it up, and there's also diesel fumes. Uh, can you see the fumes? Yeah. Anyway, there's diesel fumes coming out. So we've got um, head gasket issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video as well uh, try and do some uh, like a few videos of uh, of taking it apart a lot of people say I'm going to have to take body off uh, and then well and then it's easier to do but what I want to, I'm going to try and do it without taking the body off because I only have a four poster ramp uh, I've got a tractor that I could lift the body with, but then I'm going to have to put ropes around it and all that, and I don't, you know. So what I'm going to try and do is do it on my drive and see how far I get without, without having to take the body off. Probably going to end up having to take the body off because everybody seems to love it for some reason. Um, so, so yeah, if you want to see you want to see me take the engine apart uh, I don't think there's any other videos there people taking these apart so might be interesting what yeah subscribe and yeah that's it really see you on the next video